I'm Trixie. I'm Dixie. Wanna, Wanna do, do some, some trivia? trivia? I'm Cree. This is Scout. Welcome to Road Trip Kia. The once a day trivia quiz from the Adore Mississippi. Ready for a challenge? Well, unfortunately, that one was too late to make it into the intro challenge, but it was too good of an intro to not feature on the channel, so they get their own today on one of the best categories, before and after number five. This is a 21 question trivia quiz, 20 regular questions, then at the very end, they have a question 21 tiebreaker. These are easy questions, but they take a little bit of thinking, so feel free to pause the video if you need time in between the questions. Good luck! Question 1. What is the name of the multi-talented man who played George Costanza on the television show Seinfeld, who also discovered the world's first broadly effective antibiotic substance, which he named penicillin? Basically, two questions, you gotta put them together. Jason Alexander Fleming. Question 2. What type of furniture was made famous by King Arthur and his knights and can be found at the beginning of any college textbook? The answer we're looking for is the round table of contents. Question 3. The singer of country classics like I've Got Friends in Low Places and The Thunder Rolls, along with his siblings, started what company, the oldest clothing retailer in the United States that specializes in high-end suits? The answer is Garth Brooks Brothers. Question 4. What phrase did Steven Spielberg's E.T. always say when it came time to watch Tim Allen's sitcom on ABC about a TV show host raising his three boys with help from his wife and his fence-hidden neighbor? The answer is E.T. Phone Home Improvement. Question 5. What is the name of the American outlaw, bank, and train robber who also worked as a British secret agent for MI6 and prefers his martinis shaken, not stirred? is Jesse James Bond. Question 6. What is the name of the Pulp Fiction star who might have his royale with cheese drip all over a canvas as an abstract expressionist artist in the late 1940s? The answer is Samuel L. Jackson Pollock. Question 7. What is the name of the Southern California beach town that was named after the infamous White House intern during Bill Clinton's presidency? The answer is Santa Monica Lewinsky. Question number eight. The author of novels like It, The Shining, and Pet Cemetery 
goes by what ape-like name when he's climbing the Empire State Building? That author's name is Stephen King Kong. Question number nine. The blind singer of 1960s songs like Georgia On My Mind and Hit The Road Jack used what pen name when he wrote literary classics like A Christmas Carol and Oliver Twist? The answer is Ray Charles Dickens. Question number 10. What's the wacky 1998 comedy film starring Cameron Diaz and Ben Stiller about the dating life of the widow of the assassinated 16th President of the United States of America? That movie is called There's Something About Mary Todd Lincoln. Question 11. What is the name of the singer and German professor of theology who has been living la vida loca ever since 1517 when he nailed his 95 thesis to a church door and launched the Protestant Reformation? His name is Ricky Martin Luther. Question 12. What is the full name of the man who served barely a month as President of the United States, but still found time to play the part of Han Solo in the original Star Wars trilogy? The answer is William Henry Harrison Ford. Question 13. What is the name of the large timepiece located in London, England that was named after an American actor who played the movie roles of both Daredevil and Batman? The answer is Big Ben Affleck. Question 14. Before he rocked his guitar named Lucille for songs like Sweet Little Angel and Three O'Clock Blues, what American blues musician used to rule Egypt as a very young pharaoh? The answer is B.B. King Tut. Question 15. What is the name of the rehabilitation center used to ease offenders back into society featured in a horror movie where a millionaire offers $10,000 to five people who agree to spend the night in a scary mansion? That is called a halfway house on Haunted Hill. Question 16. What is the title of the VH1 documentary show about the rise, fall, and comeback of Professor Harold Hill, whose most popular song was about 76 trombones? The answer is Behind the Music Man. Question 17. Morticia and Gomez compete with their children against another household on what television game show once hosted by Richard Dawson 
but since 2010 has been hosted by Steve Harvey. The name of that show is The Adams Family Feud. Question 18. Who is the proverbial biblical skeptic that invented many things like the phonograph, the dictaphone, and the incandescent light bulb as the Wizard of Menlo Park? The answer is Doubting Thomas Edison. Question 19. What is the name of the cartoon cat who is always trying to catch a mouse who happens to be the lead guitarist and vocalist with the rock band The Grateful Dead? The answer is Tom and Jerry Garcia. Question 20. What is the famous spot where the pilgrims landed in 1620 and got enshrined with other greats like the Rolling Stones, Metallica, and the Beach Boys? That spot was called the Plymouth Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. Hopefully you're enjoying being back into the regular trivia quizzes. Tomorrow will be a brainy Tuesday. Those will be the hard questions, which I feel like the last couple quizzes with X, Y, and Z have been pretty difficult. So Brainy Tuesday is going to be hard, hopefully not too hard. And then we're going to roll back into some more categories that are more like the pub quiz and the bar trivia that you're used to. The more enjoyable trivia quizzes. I feel like lately these have been pretty tough quizzes. And they're supposed to be as fun as they are difficult. And lately, I think they're just more difficult. So hopefully, we'll be getting back into some more enjoyable quizzes. Hopefully, you still are having fun. Thank you for everybody who is watching. I'll just get right into question 21 today, the tiebreaker. What was the name of the portly Bill Cosby cartoon character who famously published a theory of relativity? The name of that character was Fat Albert Einstein. Thank you for watching. Have a good Monday and see you tomorrow for Brainy Tuesday.